So I'm Mr. Mann, I'm one of the A-Level Maths teachers. We also have Mr. Halvich, and we both teach A-Level Maths and also further Maths. So as you come in, okay, we're just doing some A-Level statistics. Um, at the moment, we're doing a bit on probability. So A-Level Maths consists of both Year 12 and Year 13. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the components of the A-Level Maths course. So with Maths, okay, you have two elements. You've got the pure, Okay, you will do two papers in year 13 and this constitutes two thirds of your A level. Both are worth 90 minutes each. Then you'll do a paper on statistics and mechanics and you do one paper on this. Again, it's a 90 minute paper and this is worth one third of the A level. So this is A level maths. Also next year, we're also focusing on further maths. So further maths is a A-level, that is an additional A-level on top of the A-level maths. And this will compose of the pure, pure element. Okay, and that is worth a half an A-level. This again, you do two papers. And also there's the optional elements. Now, beauty about the optional elements is you get to choose um, what papers you want to do. Obviously, this will be done in discussion of both myself and Miss Halvich. And what it is, is consists of either further pure, further statistics, further mechanics, or decision mathematics. What use is there on, on all, all different things? So, with all different elements, further pure is for those if you're interested in more mathematics, more of the pure mathematics, you're interested in doing mathematics at university, definitely go for the pure element. If you're interested in doing business, accounting, social sciences, psychology, then statistics is the one for you. If you're into engineering, so if you want to be involved in Formula One or just involved in car mechanicals, that kind of side, then mechanics is the one for you. Or if you want to go for computing or just decision making, then decision mathematics is the best for you. So with the A-level maths qualification, unlike the GCSE series grade at GCSE grades one to nine, a, the A-level grade, uh, A-level exam is graded at A star, at A star to E, okay? This is happens for both maths and further maths, and obviously to get the top grades, you need to work hard, you need to do lots and lots of problems, and that not, doesn't just include doing the easy problems, but doing reasoning and the hard problem solving questions. What we aim to do here at North Promise Grove is we want you we want you to really succeed. Uh, we want you to practice hard and great, the great thing about maths is, um, is when students tell me when they have that eureka moment, when they get something new, they just don't understand what to do and they know what to do after you're working through a problem and scratching their heads and thinking, what do I do? How do I solve this problem? So that eureka moment is key um, to, to doing any maths. In terms of what, what do I need to do, what grades do I need to achieve um, in order to do A-level maths or, and or further maths here in Northwell Grove, then to, to do A-level maths, you are expected to get an A-level. So to do A-level maths, you need to have a GCC grade of a seven or above. If you also want to do further maths on top, then we will ask you to achieve grade eight in your GCC um, in maths, as well as choosing maths as one of your options. In terms of that, you also need to ensure that you achieve your grades in all the other subjects. So it's the standard entry requirements plus a grade seven in your GCC maths for A level maths and a grade eight for A level further maths. So I've talked to you about maths and all so let's hear what the students have to say. Hi, my name's Eve and the A-levels I've chosen are art, history and maths. The reason I like maths is because it will help me with my future to be an architect. I like maths at North as we get immense support as the class sizes are a lot smaller than a normal sixth form. My name's Joe, I study maths, physics and chemistry. Uh, I really enjoy the mechanics portion of maths as it helps me with my physics, uh, which I want to pursue further at university. Hi, I'm Sinead. I do maths, art and photography. The reason I chose maths was because it was the best result I got in GCSEs and I really like the teachers here. Strongly recommend coming to North Bromsgrove because we've got teachers that are always available to answer our questions and help us. 
and like he said earlier the classes are really small so it's never awkward to raise your hand and ask a question. And we can also have extra revision lessons when we've got a free, which we do with Mr. Mark. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we hope that this gives you more information about A-level mathematics and further mathematics in the Auckland Scope High School and sixth form. If there are any further questions, um, then please feel free to contact me, Mr. Mel or Mr. Harridge, or a member of the maths team, where we'll be gladly here to, to help and answer any queries. Thank you very much for listening.